Looking forward to that, Ava. Thank you. What pet should you get? If your family is thinking about getting an animal, you need to know it's a good fit for your household and for your lifestyle. So we've got Genevieve Grace, and she's joining us from PetSmart today. We are highlighting the crested gecko. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm super excited to talk about it. You, you bring some great friends. Mm -hmm. Introduce us to, to who you've got today. Absolutely. So in this container, I have the hatchling geckos. Um, there are two in here. The top one is Isabel, and then the smaller one is Sean, okay. the gecko. And then um, we move up to the mid-sized geckos. These are a little bit older. They're about three months old. Um, but we have two in here. We have Tropicana and Josie. And then um, in my other container, I have a large crested gecko. This is what they look like um, oh adult size. So they're a lot larger. Um, but this one is Sakara. And I know you've been breeding yeah. crested geckos for 10 years. What do you love about them? What makes them so great? Crested geckos are probably the easiest reptile you can own. They're okay. super personable, they're hilarious, but they're unbelievably beautiful and they come in so many different colors. Um, and that's what I really love about them. And you describe them as sweet animals who, who don't mind being handled. They so. don't, yeah. I absolutely would love if you He's wanted to gonna, handle one. Okay. No, so they can be a little bit jumpy, but he is really chill. Um, one thing you'll probably notice is how soft he is he's not spiky whatsoever oh. he's not he's yeah. very soft. very soft so they do have these crests along their head and down their back um, that's where they get their name crested gecko um, but they're not hard or spiky whatsoever they're incredibly soft I'm gonna hold him still right there so we can get a good look at <laughs> mm -hmm. him he's on the move a little bit but he's uh, he's just kind of walking yeah. along he's different you know there's so many different kinds of geckos absolutely and uh, and what else makes these guys unique crested so they have small, small scales on their toe and their toe pads in order to crawl on the walls and stuff. They use very weak version of Van der Waals forces to crawl versus like um, suction cups that frogs use. So okay. it's kind of really cool seeing them do stuff like that. Um, right they also have a semi prehensile tail. So their tail can grip onto okay. branches and provide balance as well. Um, one interesting thing about crested geckos is they can drop their tail actually as a form of self-defense. Um, but this can happen in your home very easily. So for example, one of my crested geckos lost his tail when my cat walked up to the terrarium. Um, but it's just a defense mechanism and it, it doesn't harm them whatsoever. And I, his tongue, you know, right when, we, when they yeah. first came, they were all licking the condensation from the inside. Um, you provided us with a list of factors that people Absolutely. should understand before deciding to um, own one. So let's talk characteristics first. Crested geckos, I would say, are the easiest, so I will always recommend them to somebody looking to own a reptile for the very first time, over bearded dragons, which are also super popular. Um, but you want to think about terrarium size. Terrarium size, you do want a vertical terrarium. I would say around three feet tall, or at least like an 18 by 18 by 24 terrarium, I highly recommend. We also sell amazing kits at PetSmart. We sell this bioactive kit that I absolutely recommend. Mm -hmm. It's amazing for them. But anyways, it comes with everything you need for it. Um, but yeah, I absolutely would look into that as well. And so this sounds like a good gift or a good uh, pet. You've got a middle school kid who, who has a certain amount absolutely. of ability to take care of an animal. Um, what, uh, how long do they live? What are we so feeding them? The thing I love about crested geckos as well is their lifespan. I am a huge fan of animals that live for long periods of time, um, but they average out at about 10 to 25 years in captivity, and they're very easy when it comes to diet as well. So I brought here some examples of what crested geckos eat. Um, the majority of their diet is going to be like a smoothie mixture. Um, we sell the Rapashi brand at PetSmart, but what you do is you add water and half of this and make like a smoothie for them. So they will eat that on the Are daily. Are you telling me that I don't have to make a cricket run to the pet store every single week to keep these <laughs> guys going? They do eat crickets like okay. a couple times a week, but for the most part, they will prefer this. All My crested right. geckos love this. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Well, these yeah. are cool. Um, you're at PetSmart, you're obviously experts on this animal and all kinds of pets. Anything else about what makes this guy a good pet or just the experience that, that somebody's going to get at PetSmart trying to figure out what pet's right for their household? I would absolutely recommend um, coming in and looking at all of the animals. I personally take special time with every customer that comes in to figure out what reptile is the best. If you want to hold them, talk to me about what you're looking for. We'll absolutely figure out which one is the best. But no matter what, at the end of the day, I will always recommend a crested gecko to anybody looking okay. for an animal. Well, you're so passionate about what you do. I know you love these guys, and, and so you take it really seriously. Yeah. Um, Genevieve, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you bringing your friends. These guys thank are fun. Thank you so much, Margaret. Uh, PetSmart Greenville, of yeah. course, located at the shops at Green Ridge, 1125 Woodruff Road. They've got the pet hotel, doggy day camp, training, and more. Take me back to friend. Thanks, Genevieve. Yeah.